So we just got back to Pipe Creek, started unloading the, uh, the trailer and everything. Oh, can't see me. And there's a special someone I need to see. What's up? Uh, I'm at a buddy Nick's house today. Um, he's a welder. Um, he's going to help me build a receiver package uh, for our camper so I can bring the dirt bike to Louisiana and wherever wherever else we go on our, our trip. So I'm at the, the shop right now. Got some materials. Going to go through it later and uh, he wants to ride the horse and We'll do that stuff. Yeah. Hey Jack, go get my monster. It's over there. It's at the truck. Oh, over there. Can can you go get that? Thanks. So Nick built this thing the other day. What was it called? A uh, jet stove. A jet stove. This little contraption, we're getting it all set up. Um, I'm assuming that we're going to light this somehow. It's going to take the air in there and shoot up out of there. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Okay, it's not moonshine, it's uh, VP racing fuel. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. I knew, <laughs> I knew this was a good idea. Just leave that thing, hey, get away from my truck. All right, we're, we're good over here. I got the dirt fire. Okay, so we got these cut out, these little end caps for the main receiver. And we're gonna put another pipe right here and go out. This little extension um, to get the receiver further out. We're gonna weld it all the way around. And Nick's trying to read his fancy chart over there on his welder to see exactly what speed and temperature we're gonna put everything at, considering we're working with about quarter inch, eighth inch steel. Yeah, so obviously it got dark, got the generator running outside, it's super loud. So, start welding soon. Watch your eyeballs, kiddos.
right, so last night we did not finish the um, receiver hitch uh, just because it got late. It was around 9, 9.30 when I left my friend's house. Uh, but we're building that for this. Um, early Christmas present from my mom and John and um, dirt bike ramp hauler, ramp hauler to put on the back of the trailer so we can take to Louisiana or in the mountains, sand dunes, whatever, whenever I'll have it with me. So let's get, get it open and make sure we got all the parts. Oh, should have got a knife. Aluminum and um. Oh yeah, there's a bolt. <laughs> there goes it. Okay, so right out of the box, I see this gouge. It's kind of hard to to see. Stop moving. But it's like the aluminum cast was bad. And when they tried to. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Um, hmm. Part one for instructions generally. I just look at the picture, probably like everybody else. But I'm trying to figure out how that secures, right? So I go back to the instructions. Number four, um, the ramp st stores on either side of the motorcycle rack with the two supplied wing nuts, bolt and nut assemblies. Okay. Does that, I'm, I mean, I, uh, come on guys. Get it together. It's not a wing nut. It's not a wing nut. So I gotta go buy a wing nut to make this work correctly. Cause I'm not gonna carry a wrench every time I wanna unload the dirt bike. What a pain. I'll just re-engineer it all together. I'll put some C clips. Quick quick connect. Maybe something like that. I don't know. So anyways, um, let's put those in and see how that's supposed to work. I got the wing nuts on there. You can see bolt goes through for a spacer so you can just quickly disconnect that quickly and go off with the ramp. So because I got nothing else to do. I'm gonna go and do this in the rain. Attach it to the truck over there. Let's see how this thing performs. I'm gonna go get her warmed up before I try to push it on over there. Yeah, let's see.
do with it? St strap it? Yeah, it's supposed to strap it to here. It's so sketchy. I know. I don't... Well, not only if you strap it that way, but it, it'll swing from side to side too, right? What you doing? Oops. Prepping. <laughs> the, uh... Hey, it's my time. For the receiver hitch right behind you. Grinding out these corners so we can make a good weld on the existing I-beams. Control. <laughs> I don't have insurance for this. <laughs> you don't Whoa. have insurance for things that your husband and his dumb friends do? No. So we got... I got 155 right now. Okay, so 255 plus me, I'm like 170. So... I'm pretty sure we'll hold, we'll hold the dirt bike. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. With me on it. Yeah. Cool, good job guys. Cool. All right, we succeeded. Didn't take too long. Uh, that's pretty steep. So that was kind of a little sketchy. Nick kind of had to help me push it up there because the mud on the back tire is spinning. But I'll figure out a system. We'll get it. And for now, we'll see you in Louisiana.